Alderman pauses, and Templeton can see by his expression what is about to follow. All the members of the group have heard it themselves countless times. It isn't a rehearsed speech, even though it sounds that way, given the numbing number of times they've heard it. Alderman pounds a fist into the palm of his hand. A smack resounds in their ears, and everyone winces, convinced it hurt. Churches aren't too big to fail. This isn't play. This is real. This is like pulling people out of burning houses. It's like nursing cancer patients. It's like rescuing storm victims from a deep, unforgiving ocean. This is the most important thing in the world. It isn't something you should endure for a couple of hours a week. You were created to worship. You were created to worship Him. You were made to glorify God. Everything that goes on outside those doors isn't supposed to matter as long as you're inside. We're supposed to carry Him out there. So what happens in a church should be worthy of Him. He didn't just purchase one hour of their time once a week by hanging on the cross. He bought them. I'm in the choir, Alex. You're preaching to me. Alterman grunts under his breath, looks at Templeton and nods. Alterman then turns and leaves the room. Whitegate still isn't satisfied. He waits through a moment of uncertain silence and speaks again, this time to Templeton. It seems, despite their earlier words, Whitegate feels the most kinship with him. I don't understand your partner. He doesn't make it easy. <laughs>